after more than 40 years of a relatively stable and declining, in most cases, food prices, we have experienced two violent upswings in food prices, one in the period 2006-2008 and one in the period 2010-2011, and a drastic decline in between. Prices in February 2011, as expressed by the FAO Food Price Index, have reached their historical highs. So prices are not only very high, they're extremely volatile. That is, they are characterized by unpredictable changes. Some families, in order to face the high prices of food, they sell their assets or they cut down on medical expenditures or education expenditures. Children, uh, if they are deprived of basic nutrients in a very sensitive period of their lives, then they can have long-term mental or physical handicaps. So as you see, short-term uh, price swings can have very negative impacts on the well-being of poor families. In principle, high prices are good for agricultural producers. They, they are an incentive to produce more. The problem is that those, in order to produce more, those farmers have to have access to markets, access to inputs, access to infrastructure, in order to be able to increase and respond to the high prices. There are three set of measures that uh, have to be taken. One is creating an enabling environment for productivity and production in agriculture and investing in the appropriate infrastructure, research, and other public goods which farmers need to produce more and more productively. The second is they should avoid of, from taking unilateral measures, trade measures like export bans or export dis, uh, restrictions which aggravate the situation in international markets. Following these kinds of measures, prices become higher and more volatile. And third, they should be more transparent and more coordinated. Safety nets, targeted measures to protect the very poor are in order. And also measures to combat risk. Because a major um, factor which impacts on the ability of farmers to produce is risk. Uh, volatile prices create risk. Farmers don't want to invest if they're very uncertain about the future.